At least 63 people are dead and hundreds trapped after flash flooding in Spain. These are live pictures from the region. Emergency services estimate almost all of the deaths are in Valencia. The flooding took over southeast Spain after yesterday's storms. Now a thousand troops are joining the emergency response to help with search and rescue efforts. Foreign correspondent Marcus Moore has the latest. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Diane. What we have heard from officials in Spain is to prepare for the death toll to rise significantly as urgent search and rescue operations unfold throughout the day today. And most of the deaths that we know of are reported in the, in the, in the city of Valencia. This flash flooding happening in eastern Spain overnight, washing away cars and causing mudslides. Andalusia and Valencia regions are under red alerts right now. And we've seen, seen images of the floodwaters rushing down streets. Also, the massive emergency response, a thousand military forces deployed to help. Rescuers using helicopters to pluck people from flooded villages. Others helped out of their homes on foot. Now, officials told ABC News that at one point, more than 600 people were trapped in an IKEA store in Valencia waiting for help. Uh, we know that two bridges have been swept away in the uh, Riva Roja de Turia area that's northwest of Valencia. And there are concerns that several key roads could collapse. And, you know, you, you look at these images, and you get a real sense that this is a catastrophe, so much so that the train services in that part of the region have been suspended and Valencia's main airport is closed. And as search and rescues continue, the threat has not passed. Uh, even more rain is expected. And three days of national mourning have now been called for everyone impacted. Diane. Foreign correspondent Marcus Moore, thank you.